69 degrees, some rain, but after 322 days between home games, the home opener is finally here. Hey, fine, get alive. Hey, Redwood, man, these Redwoods finna hunt these bears down. It's finna be the end of the story. We finna go home. Hey, give me right here. Give me right here. Hey, y'all, listen. Y'all hear the boys getting crazy out there in the hallway? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. We're running out of opportunity. Take one by one at a time. This is the only chance we get to have a home opener. Hey, let's love each other. Let's freaking love the game. Yep. Let's play as hard as we can play. Yep. Oh, got to do with nobody but the guys in this room. Oh, yeah. I couldn't stand to be in any other room than this one right here. Yes, Family on me. Family on three. One, Family. two, three. Family. A fired up Red Wolf squad took to the field in their 2020 home opener inside Centennial Bank Stadium. It's game time, man. It's game time, man. It's gonna get no better than this. God, it woke us up another 24 hours. Tell the sport that we go. Hey, State, stepping out of league play today to take on a very good in-state foe in Central Arkansas, UCA, at 2-2 two and two on the year. As the in-state showdown kicked off, it was obvious both teams were eager to compete for bragging rights. Very, very big turnaround here in momentum. And now UCA has the ball. After a mishandled field goal by the Red Wolves, gave the ball to Central Arkansas and allowed the Bears to score the first points. Great wow. effort. What a, what, a, what a great shot down there on the special teams. Hey, hey, to your guy. Don't worry about the ball, keys. To your guy right now. Braylon Smith clapped his hands a couple of times. I think he was trying to get A-State to jump. Instead, on the third time, it's fumbled in the end zone. The ball is loose. I think UCA recovered. They did, but it was two yards deep in the end zone, and it's a safety. A safety gets A-State on the board, and it's now 3-2. to two. As the winds picked up in the bottom of the first quarter, so did the Red Wolves' high-powered offense. Marcel Murray all the way down, across the 40 to the 39-yard line, finally brought down by Cameron Godfrey. Hatcher, play action, looks for the end zone, left side, caught, touchdown, Jonathan Adams, and the Red Wolves take their first lead of the day with 5.22 remaining in the first half. Feeding off the energy of their teammates on the sideline, the Red Wolves defense began making huge plays. Throw down left side, it's picked off by Sammy Johnson across midfield, Sammy across the 30. Sammy across the 20, he's gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, Sammy Johnson on the pick six. And the Red Wolves are up two scores with 3.14 remaining in the second quarter. Hatcher claps his hands for it. Lane. Rolls right. Now he's going to throw right side. It's caught inside the five. Diving for the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Arkansas State. It was Brandon Bowling who was hit at the five. He dove for the end zone and got in. Despite heading into halftime with a 10-point lead, the Red Wolves knew this game was far from over. Hey, it's far from over. Great response. 
Things did not go well early. Ball slipping, missed a couple plays here and there, got even got behind, but you did a great job responding. The energy is great. We're hustling and flying around. Just continue to play. Now this third quarter shoot. We're going to take the ball, guys. We're going to be into the win. Let's grind them up up front. Sir. Let's utilize. Let's milk that clock. Sir. Let's points. go! Defense, continue to play hard. We've had a couple of great opportunities. Let's make those plays. Sammy, great job going to get it yes, in. Sir. Hey, sir. hey, sir. continue to play. These guys will continue to play, I promise you. They will continue to play, and they're good enough to have a quick response. If we get, hey, if we're not focused on our job. Play your technique, pull together, have fun. Take a minute. Together. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. Together. The Red Wolves started the second half, looking to assert their dominance in the game. Bonner, the pass, wow. touchdown! It's an RPO, run pass off. Dahu Green. Patrick, going deep left side, looking for Adams, caught, touchdown, Jonathan Adams. It was one-on-one -on -one coverage with DeAndre Lamont, the corner down the left sideline, and Adams able to make the catch for his second score of the day. After a goal line stand, the Red Wolves offense once again found pay dirt. Spider play action going deep right side for Dahu, caught, touchdown Dahu Green. His second touchdown of the day, and A State has topped the 40 point mark with 29 seconds to go in the third quarter. But Central Arkansas was not going away quietly. That was a big drive, completing that long third down pass, and the one down the middle, now into the end zone. As the fourth quarter began, the Red Wolves defense began to pin their ears back and take over the game. Play action. Smith being chased, and he's going to be brought down by Justin Rice. Rice with his second sack of the day, all the way back at the 38-yard line. Raylan Smith dancing around, keeps his feet moving, now rolls right, throws deep over the middle, it's picked off at the 17-yard line. Running right across the 20, up to about the 23, that's Antonio Fletcher. And in the final minutes, the game offered one more moment of celebration. Bonner going deep left side, looking for Rucker. Caught 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Corey Rucker, the true freshman, with his first career score. This one from 56 yards out. Who's headed there, Corey? The Red Wolves win their home opener and their homecoming game. First career touchdown. I feel amazing. True freshman, man. R E D W O L V E S means victory. Stay. The party in the locker room. Let's go. Hey, hey, never take a win for granted. Weather, the rain, the wind, all the things that came with it. We obviously missed some opportunities early, but we, hey, we responded, we didn't freak out. We can play better. That's the key to continue to work to get better. We have a very short week. All right, we play a conference opponent, a good conference opponent. We play Georgia State Thursday night right here at home. We control our destiny. That only matters if we go out and win one week at a time, one opponent at a time. We gotta play better than we did today. We play well enough to win, but we were supposed to win. We knew that. We still made too many mistakes. There's a lot of technical stuff that we will hit over the next two days and prepare to go win again and start taking care of our business one week at a time. Together! One, two, three! Together!